A number of older people in Maine are worried about the side effects of the vaccine and question whether the vaccine will protect those at a higher risk for the coronavirus. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee has some of the concerns. More than 1,000 reports of side effects involving those receiving a COVID-19 vaccine have been logged with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The most common reported symptoms, headaches, dizziness, and nausea. Dr. John Alexander is the Chief Medical Officer of Central Maine Medical Center. The hospital system is providing frontline workers with the second booster this week. We've, we've vaccinated tens of thousands of people now already in the state of Maine, uh, healthcare, healthcare workers. And while we've seen a few serious reactions. According to the CDC, there have been a small number of serious reactions, severe abdominal pain, seizures, and stroke-like symptoms. But experts say out of the nearly 6 million doses given across the country, these adverse events are still very rare. The benefit right now clearly outweighs um, the risks. Mainers 75 and older who are considered higher risk for COVID-19 could get the vaccine later this month or in early February. But many still worry about potential side effects and if the shot will affect chronic health conditions or compromised immune systems. He had pneumonia in both lungs and instantly, I mean, anytime you hear someone that's 91 with pneumonia, it never ends well. Sarah Jokum's father, Dick Dow, came down with pneumonia late last month. But the 91-year-old fought back and recovered. Dow, a resident who lives in Pinnacle Health and Rehab, was scheduled to be vaccinated this week. That was my mom's biggest concern with him getting the vaccine. You know, are there any contraindications? Dow did receive the shot, and so far he's not had any reactions. Oh, love you, Dad. Sarah, though, is also worried about her father's mental health and hopes the extra layer of protection will eventually allow more in-person visits and hugs with her father. In South Portland, Vivian Lee, News Center, Maine. Now, the CDC keeps track of these incidents through the VAERS, or the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System. Anyone is able to report adverse reactions from providers, patients, and family members.